shift than your normal routine. Chris Holder off the inside, Niels Christian Everson off gate two, Chris Harris gate three, Matty Zegar going off the outside in yellow. The first ever Speedway Grand Prix. Here's the view. Fabulous first start there from uh, Matty Zagar, who didn't practice and he didn't need to, did he? Absolutely, Jeff propelled away from the tapes and is looking super good out in front. Everson coming under a little bit of pressure from Chris Harris and Chris Holder looks a little bit tentative back in fourth place. Oh, tight between Everson and Harris as they went down the back straight there. But Zagar out in front, looking like he's enjoying himself. Yeah, this is a man who has not practiced on this track. The riders were called in at 9 o'clock this morning and given the opportunity to practice, Jagar hasn't. And look at him here, he is absolutely flying. Take the second flag. Wow, that's... Four. The noise is magnificent venue. Two race winners alongside each other, Jagar and Kaspersak in red and blue. Here we go. Oh. And Zegar has made a beauty of the inside gate. Oh, my goodness, Eric Kaspersak avoid collecting Yolleton. And here comes Wolfgang on the inside now. Super eye from Thomas H. Jonathan. He read that nicely. Wolfenden getting up the inside, but look at Zago go again. He won the previous race in four and back to back heats. He's out in front. The bike absolutely flying for him. He looks really comfortable and he's pulling away. Real good scrap for second place. Thomas H. Jonathan and Wolfenden really going at it. Kasper Zach's out the back. A lap to go. Yeah, it is. Matty Zegar then with the lead here. He won his first GP in Finland last year, of course, and he's on his way to a second straight victory. Matty Zegar of Slovenia. And here's the unbeaten man, Zegar off the inside. Troy Batchelor off two. Jason Doyle off three. And Matze Janowski oh. going off the outside. And after Jason Doyle, furious for being excluded last time. Oh. Well, they're away. And it's uh, Troy Batchelor in blue, the Australian, but charging hard at the inside in white. Super ride from Jason Doyle, the Australian here, up against his fellow countryman Troy Batchelor. And charging hard as well, Matt Sejanovski in yellow. And Zagar now coming through into third, just gets the better of Janowski. It's really fast and furious here now. And Jason Doyle, well, he is taking out his anger and frustration on his rivals yeah, well, here. What a way to respond, Nigel, because he's riding brilliantly. He's looking good out in front. Going to say that Zago, who was unbeaten before this ride, has swapped places with Janowski and is in the third. And Bachelor, who made the start initially, is hanging on the second place. Janowski up the inside. Oh, this is tight. It's going to be a good last lap for second place. Zago up the inside. Bachelor's oh! from wide. Oh, he's off the bike for the second time. And he's hurt. And he's hurt. Janowski, it's Zega. That's your lineup across the grid here in heat number 15 in Tampa. Harris is the man in blue. Janowski in white. Green light on and they're away. McDoyle's made a good start from the inside gate now. Harris will try to chop up the inside. Here comes Zega around the outside. What a move from Matty Zega. Super swoop around the outside. Jason Doyle is second and Harris catches uh, a little bit out of shape there and almost collects the back wheel. Jason Doyle and now Janowski coming through on the inside of Harris but Harris hanging on is for third place down that back straight wheel to wheel down the back straight this is for third place and just a point yeah Harris really showing a lot of tenacity there Janowski and Harris glued together Harris now finally getting himself into third place awfully tight racing what a first corner from Zager out of nowhere showing a lot more speed very impressive out in front Doyle it's all doing nicely, moving on to eight points, just about into the semi-finals, but Zagar showing the sort of form we expect from him. Yeah, this is the form that he used to win here last year, albeit it took a mistake from Wolfenden in the final to allow him through, but he's carved up the opposition here in heat number 15. Matty Zagar with a much-needed victory there. Simolati off gate three, Yuri Niemann off the outside, the Battle of the Finns off the outside, two gates here. This is heat number 20. 
good start from Jensen Jensen, but a better one from Zegar off the inside gate. The two Finns battling away at the back there, and uh, with Zegar holding the lead, Jensen Jensen is second, and that will put Jensen Jensen onto nine points, and he'll go above Troy Batchelor into the top eight. So the top eight will be clear cut uh, with uh, the lead with Matty Zegar. He's going to miss out. He's paying the price here, Zegar, for two last places in a third, and he's only three rides. Yeah, it's tough for him, but uh, he's on four. This will put him on seven. Bachelor's on seven and eight. So it could be very close uh, for Zagar with two back-to-back -back wins. It'll be interesting to see how that works out on the count back. May, may, may be enough. So, down the back straight, Zagar with the lead here. Jepsen Jensen with two points. That'll do for him to put him on to nine. And the top eight will be clear cut with Jepsen Jensen, Jonsson, Hancock, Hampel, Doyle, Pedersen, Kasper Zak, and Ruffinden. That's the way it is. Zagar will miss out now down the back straight. He's got the race under control, but of course, every point counts in the Grand Prix. Yeah, yeah great finish from him. And I've um, uh, got to say that he's turned his night around. He'd be terribly frustrated because, you know, on the evidence of his. Wild card, and it's his third Grand Prix. Milik off the inside in red. Matty Zegar goes off gate two in blue. Thomas H. Jonasson goes off three in white. And Christoph Kasperzak. So let's see if it's special K, K here off gate number four. It is. Away from the start, Zegar off two has made a good one. Now Kasperzak is going wide to try and get the driver around the outside, down the back straight. No room because Zegar has blocked the room, and Kasperzak is second, and Thomas H. Jonasson battling through the pain barrier is third, with Milik at the back right now. But that was a good start from Zegar, super smooth from the Slovenian, from gate number two. Well, complete reversal of what he did last week in Tampere, where he started poorly, he started fine here. Terrific start out of gate two, and once this man hits the front, he's silky smooth and looks really very impressive. Kasperzak momentarily putting him under pressure as they came out of turn two in the opening lap, but they're clearing off. Thomas H. Jonasson, third place. Milik, well, he just couldn't quite get there off the inside. It's about the big guns out in front here. Sago and up to go. Dominant. Yeah, looking good. Kasperzak is second. Milik almost collects the back wheel of Jonasson there. That was. Almost a nasty incident, but thankfully he avoided the back wheel. Milik's given it everything now towards the end of the race, but I think you oh, oh, and here once comes again. Just a he goes in uh, blue here with two points to his name. Still a lot of work to do to get to the semi finals. Troy Batchelor off gate three in white. Charging hard as well. Start Marshall now is happy. He walks away. Here we go, heat number nine. This time they're away, and it's a super start from the man off gate two, Jason Doyle in blue. Doyle has made a great start, and watch out for Zegar again, coming around the outside, down oh! the back just about squeezes through. Zegar has uh, second spot now. Niels Christian Everson is passed by the man in white, Troy Batchelor, and it's just not Niels Christian Everson's night. But what a start from Jason Doyle in blue. Well, fabulous start from Doyle, a disappointing opening race where he got off the motorbike and failed to score, but he's bouncing back in fine style. Second place last time out, and he's hit the front. Looking good, Zegar charging really hard gets himself into second place tell you what Dahl can't relax because Zagar's hunting him down got to say that uh, Bachelor and Everson are detached Everson really not enjoying a very good night of speedway at all he's out the back nearly running in the back of Bachelor but out in front Jason Dahl really going good and Everson has passed Bachelor and Bachelor's slowing up here has he got a puncture I wonder Troy Bachelor in fact uh serious bike problem there for Troy Bachelor but it's a win for Jason Doyle in blue